Hey guys, I'm Rav and I'm back with 202 tips and tricks every DayZ player must know in 2022. There's been a lot of updates to DayZ since the last video, so we have a lot of new tips to get through as well as some of the best old ones. As always, if you do enjoy this kind of content, leave a like and consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe if you change your mind. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get in to the video. You can crawl under a tripwire trap. A trip wire trap can be made by using two wooden sticks and a metal wire. You can attach grenades or less lethal smoke grenades and flashbangs as an early warning system. Grenades can penetrate through surfaces such as wood. Remember this next time you're hiding in one of those little sheds. If there is no decay in a body, it means that it's been dead for less than 10 minutes. Be careful. After 10 minutes, flies will start to form around the body and after 20 minutes, the skin will begin to decay. You can throw meat, guts or bones to distract wolves. You can also throw objects to distract infected. Once an infected screams, its scream will attract even more infected. If you find yourself barefoot or with ruined shoes, you're 15 times less likely to cut your feet when running barefoot on grass than other surfaces. However, you can craft improvised clothing, including shoes out of rags. Sitting by a fire will give you the heat buff within 45 seconds. This is the fastest way. Alternatively, you can achieve the heat buff by sitting by any other heat source. This includes gas stoves, torches, generators and even running cars. Sitting inside of a car, whether the engine is running or not, will provide you with some protection from the elements. The same can be said for tents. Only eating while your hungry stats are yellow will make your food last twice as long. However, the higher your food stats, the more immune you are to cholera, salmonella and influenza. Food decays twice as fast in a player's inventory. You can dry fruits, vegetables and meats on fireplaces. However, I recommend eating all perishable food as soon as possible as it can't rot while in your stomach. Having said this, never eat fat that you haven't gathered yourself. Fat found on players or on the floor could be human fat, which will give you the cannibal disease, Kuru. If you're desperate for food, fishing is always an easy and reliable option as a fishing rod can be crafted with one stick and one rope. Alternatively, a fish trap can be made out of a plastic bottle and a knife. Improvised rope can be made out of guts, as well as combining 12 rags together. Rags can be easily gathered by cutting up items of clothing with a knife. To fish, you don't actually need a worm, although one can be gathered with a knife by looking at the ground and it will increase your chances of a catch. You will, however, need a hook. You can find a hook or you can make a makeshift hook with a knife and a pile of bones. The easiest way in my opinion to get bones is from a chicken. These are easy to locate as you should be able to hear a chicken in nearly every town you go to. Follow these chicken calls to track it down. This will provide you with a little bit of food as well as some bones to fish with. When fishing, you can sometimes fish items such as cooking pots, wellies and compasses. You cannot swim with a broken leg, although jumping into water does not actually cause any damage. However, it will make you wet and when your clothes become wet, they gain more weight, reducing your stamina. Under 20% of stamina, you won't be able to jump, sprint or vault. You can start to dry your clothes by placing them in your hands and wringing them out. However, to fully dry your clothes, you must either wait or sit by a fire. Your clothes dry the quickest if you take them off and place them by the fire. An alarm clock will sound for an exact minute. You can use an alarm clock to distract zombies. They will distract any zombie within 25 meters. This also works on wolves. It'll actually break the aggro of any wolves locked onto you. An alarm clock will also sound from within a container. Dead infected despawn within 6 minutes if no players are within 125 meters. So next time you run into an infected that you didn't kill, a player was very recently in the area. Standing while using a rangefinder will reduce sway. A sword off weapon has double the recoil of its unsword counterpart. You can sort of sights of the famous rifle. The optic of an Org A1 is the height of a player at 200 meters. The same can be said for the PSO. This line on the PU is the height of a player at 1000 meters. Remember, you have two types of zeroing for your gun, one on your iron sights and one on your optic. A suppressor can't be heard over 150 meters. Suppressors increase sway by 30%. Metal suppressors increase accuracy. You can make an improvised suppressor with duct tape and a bottle, which can go on nearly every gun. Both buttstocks and handguards will reduce recoil and sway of a weapon. Attaching an optic to a weapon will make it twice as accurate. Any sight added to a weapon will increase its accuracy, meaning an M4 is more accurate with its carry handle, although I prefer it without as it's a clunky mess. 
Your stats become white when your stomach is only 20% full. So remember, next time you're at the well, to keep drinking. Although, try to avoid wells when possible, as they are a hot spot for campers and other players. It's safer to fill up a canteen and drink it elsewhere than to just drink from the well. A plastic bottle and canteen hold the exact same amount of liquid. Chlorine tablets will make any water safe to drink, allowing you to avoid wells. Chicken carcasses don't decay, so if you have the space, don't cut the chicken up until you need to cook it. Infected wolves and bears can't attack you when within a vehicle. A bear trap will one shot a wolf, a two to three shot a bear, while only breaking the legs of an infected. A bear trap will also affect cars, as well as a landmine allowing you to boogie trap cars. The landmine will only explode under a car once the player gets into the driver's seat. Chest armour will provide some protection from landmines, however you will still fall unconscious. Landmines always knock players out for 50 seconds. When unconscious, you'll drop the item you're holding on the floor. Remember to pick this back up when you wake up. When you wake up, you'll be facing from the opposite way of where you were shot from. This means if you see an unconscious player, the legs will point towards the shooter. Drop a bag and then place a landmine within it so that it's hidden perfectly. A landmine can be disarmed with a screwdriver as well as knives. You can't shoot through player-made structures. The only exception to this rule is watchtower floors. So, when raiding, shoot the frame underneath a wall so once the frame is destroyed, the panel will be deleted with it. You can set a broom on fire. You can also craft a torch with a long stick and rag. Once set on fire, this can knock a player out in 3 to 4 punches. Add fat to the torch to double the time it lasts. The Yellow King motorbike helmet can also be used as a melee weapon. You'll always spawn facing north. Clouds head east, and power lines will always lead to towns. The compass will show you the direction in your hotbar and if you inspect it, although once it leaves your hands it will start showing the wrong direction. It's possible to navigate by the stars. Never walk in the middle of the road, always walk by the woods next to it. This will greatly reduce your chances of being spotted. An EpiPen will briefly give you unlimited stamina. This will allow you to hold your breath a lot longer when sniping. Chamber your weapon before reloading for an extra shot. Melee weapons will receive damage when attacking another player or infected, meaning it can ruin and drop out your hands in mid fight. You still look a hundred times cooler in aviators, even if it makes this weird tint effect. Removing the radiator from a car will cause all the water in it to disappear. There's actually a functioning clock inside of a sedan which tells you the server time. You can also tell the server time by clock towers. Static contamination zones do not move and are permanently locked at Riffy and Pavlovo on Chernarus and at Radunin and Glininska airfield on Livonia. Similar contamination zones can also randomly appear dynamically across the map as airstrikes. These take place roughly every 15 to 20 minutes. A dynamic contamination zone will last for 30 minutes. The sound of distant artillery will play 45 seconds before the area is bombed by the toxic gas. Do not confuse this with the sound of a helicopter being shot down. If you hear this sound, it means a helicopter has crashed nearby, an opportunity to get some of the best loot in the game. Look around for nearby smoke or use an online map such as Eyes Arrived to see all the possible nearby helicopter crash site locations. A flare will also appear before the zone is hit. The toxic gas will cause all animals in the area to die as well as infected. However, new infected where an NPC equipment will begin to spawn. If you happen to get caught in this gas while unprotected, you'll gain a new bleed every 15 seconds. After one or two cuts, you'll gain level one gas poisoning. After a minute and 20 seconds of being exposed in the zone, you'll fall unconscious. Level two gas poisoning will occur after 25 seconds. This is what displays the sickness icon and starts to make your character cough blood every 50 seconds. The cough will remove 50 blood each time. Keep in mind, your character only has 5,000 blood. This cough will also put blood onto your hands, wear gloves to prevent this. And like having animal blood on your hands, this will also give you food poisoning. After 250 seconds, you'll vomit up blood. This will cause certain death. Although pox can be used to instantly cure level one and level two gas poisoning. In addition, this will instantly wake up any unconscious player. Level three gas poisoning will take place after one minute and 25 seconds. This will make you go unconscious and instantly kill you within 30 to 40 seconds. Remember, you need a full suit and gas mask with a filter to be protected. Only wearing a gas mask will only provide you with an additional 30 seconds of protection. A badly damaged suit is just as good as a pristine one, although you can repair these suits with a tire repair kit. However, if you are already bleeding, even when fully protected, you can still get infected. When wearing a gas mask with a filter, your stamina will regenerate 
two and a half times slower. And all actions that require stamina, such as vaulting, will require 25% more stamina. Combat gas masks will last for 12 minutes, but a gas mask and NBC respirator, which will need to be equipped with a filter, will last for only 8 minutes in the toxic zone. However, it will last an hour and 20 minutes outside of the gas zone. A gas mask filter can be refilled with charcoal tablets found in medical locations. A gas mask filter can be improvised with a plastic bottle, dust mask and charcoal tablets. This will last for 5 minutes. You can use blood bags to cure gas poisoning. Collect your own blood when possible so that you can give it back to yourself and it will always be the correct blood type. Alternatively, you can use a blood test kit on yourself or a bag of blood which will reveal the blood type. This chart will show you what blood types are compatible. But it's important to remember O- blood can be given to anyone where people with AB blood can receive from anyone. You can cook on the embers of a fire. You can also distinguish a fire by pouring a bottle of water on it. A flare gun lasts for 45 seconds. You can sneak up on a zombie and perform a stealth attack which will result in it being a one shot. A zombie will not attack you if you're unconscious so when you wake up don't move or make a sound as it will instantly aggro. Stand on the back of a prone player and they will not be able to stand up. A good way to troll your teammates or a prisoner. It will take 3 seconds to capture someone with either barbed wire, metal wire, duct tape or handcuffs. Whereas it will take 10 seconds with rope. It will then take another 20 seconds to escape from barbed wire. This will also cause the player to bleed, making it the best restraint, although it will also take 20 seconds to escape from metal wire and handcuffs, as well as 10 seconds to escape from duct tape or rope. You can pick out these rocks for stones. These are different to the small stones that you may find. Small stones are used to craft improvised knives, although you can make an improvised knife by combining bones and a stone. Or you can alternatively combine a bone with a large or even up against a physical boulder. Epoxy putty can be used to repair both helmets and vests. Bandages and rags must be disinfected with alcohol tincture, disinfectant spray or iodine. If these bandages or rags are damaged, they will lose their disinfectant status. Using bandages and rags that have not been disinfected may give you a wound infection, one of the deadliest diseases in the game. If desperate, you can stop a bleed with a sewing kit, however this may cause a wound infection. Although a bleed will eventually clot, this will always give you a wound infection. Do not leave your tent and barrels exposed when building a base. A player can shoot these which will eventually ruin them and cause the items to drop on the floor and potentially despawn. As items within containers, including tents, barrels and clothing, will become damaged when a container is shot. Although items will be protected if it's within a container that is within another container such as a cooking pot in a bag. Sprint twice as often but for half the time so you have a reserve of stamina. Below a certain health you won't be able to sprint. The same goes for a broken leg, this will remove your ability to climb. Having a broken leg will also affect your ability to pick up heavy items. The use of morphine will allow you to fully sprint even when wounded. A similar effect can be achieved with codeine although it will only allow you to sprint at the speed of the next stage in recovery. You can silently unpin a grenade if you sprint as soon as you unpin it. If you crouch as soon as you drink a bottle or soda, it will skip the animation and the sound of the cap being removed. If you're holding an angle within a building, place a glow stick or a light from behind the direction of a potential attacker. This will allow you to see their shadow before they peek. If you're about to rush into a gunfight, drop any additional gear in a nearby bush. You can always return to this if you die. You can actually shoot through a lot of surfaces in DayZ. Don't be afraid to go for the wall band. If you find your vehicle flipped or stuck, you can attempt to move it by throwing items at it. Bags are surprisingly effective. You can use a crowbar to split M3S wheels into single ones. You can also just combine them back together. Next time you find yourself on the coast, don't forget to check fire stations. Firefighting gear is some of the best clothing early game. They are warm, waterproof and have a lot of storage. You can climb on top of wrecked cars, Hesco barricades and other similar surfaces to attack infected from above without them being able to hit you back. Eat a multivitamin before consuming raw meat or dirty water to reduce your chances of getting sick. You can craft an improvised cooking stand with two short sticks and one long one which you can attach a cooking pot to to cook food above a fire. A broom can actually be broken down into all the pieces you need for a cooking stand. The cooking pot is a container, a canteen and even an improvised breaching charge when filled with grenades, making it one of the best items in the game. Drive with your hood and boot open when possible, this will protect you from bullets although it's a lot harder to do on a first person server. 
Mushrooms and fruits only spawn if a player has been in the area for a while. If you see a lot of these when coming into a new area, it means a player is there or recently has been. An excessive amount probably means there's a base somewhere nearby. There's actually now a castle located on the east side of Livonia. Always use verticality to your advantage. For example, you can parkour on top of this camo building in Zelenogor's military base. Use pliers on barbed wire to turn it into wire. Glasses don't render in cars. You can watch my previous tip videos for hundreds of more tips. However, they may be a little bit outdated. And remember, never trust anyone. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned at least something new in this video. Let me know your favourite tips or if I missed anything you think should have been included in the comments below.